As you can tell, I'm currently not home. I'm out traveling with my family in Italy and it's so beautiful here. I wanted to react to this video because initially I thought it was like some crazy social justice warrior, but in reality, it's a detransitioner telling her story. So let's watch. My name is Hava. I'm a detransitioner. I started transitioning when I was 28 and I began taking testosterone. I went to Planned Parenthood. They did not require a medical evaluation. They did not require a mental health evaluation. They took everything I told them at face value. I had untreated borderline personality disorder, CPTSD, and just a bunch of other trauma from my childhood. I was very confused. This is a case of someone who's a little bit older than the usual detransitioner we hear so much about. And when we're talking about adults transitioning, I hear the argument, well, if you're an adult, you can do whatever you want. You have the right to mess up your own body. And I don't agree. A gender transition is not getting a tattoo or drinking a beer. This is to treat a mental disorder. And no matter if you're an adult or a child, you personally are a patient and you don't get to decide what type of medicine that you want. Why? Because you don't necessarily know what's going on with you up in your head. That's why we hire medical professionals. And the second reason why I don't agree with the statement is because you as an adult, as a citizen, have the right to not be wrongfully treated by the government, by the doctors, whatever. We're not talking about, let's say, regular women getting breast implants and how they shouldn't do that. We're talking about a mental disorder and medicine and a, a treatment to treat that disorder. Mental health is complicated. It is hard, already hard for medical professionals to figure out what a person is dealing with. Is it ADHD? Is it autism? Is it borderline disorder? Is it an eating disorder? Is it gender dysphoria? It is hard. But I don't think that we should give up as a society, give up on the people who deal with their mental health. I don't think that we should give up on trying to diagnose people with these disorders I just mentioned because people who are not feeling well deserve better than this. Every single person who wants a gender, a physical gender transition should undergo a mental health screening. It doesn't matter if the person ends up being right, myself included, that they are gender dysphoric and it's chronic. See, the good thing is, it doesn't hurt anyone, and it's actually a healthy thing to get your mental health checked. Medical professionals can't just take a guess and be like, oh, I assume this person is right about being trapped in a wrong body, and be like, here's the testosterone, even though it will permanently change your body, and possibly will ruin your life if you're not happy with your transition. Nah, it doesn't matter. I, I believe you. I believe you. No one deserves that. Even people like me. I am super satisfied with my transition, but you know what really sucks? I can say this over and over again, even though I'm comfortable with my transition, I would feel even more comfortable if I had a different experience at the trans clinic where the doctors actually did their jobs. And I did not want to be a woman anymore. I did not have gender identity disorder. I was just sick of being a woman. It makes me so sad that someone doesn't want to be their biological sex when in reality they can be. They can actually live life as their biological sex. If I had a choice, I would too, but I can't. Most detransitioners deal with uncontrollable mental health issues. So these people who detransition that we hear so much about in the media right now, will always exist and have always existed. They existed before five years ago, of course they did, but they didn't transition. Depressed, anxious, and desperate people have always and will always exist. So what we need to do as a society is to not blindly affirm anyone who says that they're trans is trans and the trans clinics <sighs> need to do their job. I went into Planned Parenthood, lied to them, and told them I had been living as a man for two years. They did not ask anybody around me. They did not tell me to go to a therapist. They did not have me evaluated. They took what I said at face value. 
did minor blood work and gave me testosterone the same day. I've talked to multiple people in real life who said to me, what if people are very convincing about being the opposite sex? Isn't it impossible to avoid D-trans cases? Of course it is. The problem is that these trans doctors only know something about trans ideology and maybe even gender dysphoria. A lot of them don't know anything about borderline, eating disorders, the list is long, because this is a specialty. The truth is, a lot of these doctors that we're talking about are incompetent and cannot help many of these patients seeking help at their clinics. I'm glad that they actually did blood work, but you cannot receive testosterone the same day that you ask for it. This is madness. My point is, the doctors should see through all the lies, recognizing the symptoms of personality disorders. I think that should be the protocol, but unfortunately it's not. It would help so many people though. After taking testosterone for about a year and a half, I asked them what it would take to start having surgeries, sexual reassignment surgeries, having my breast removed and having a false penis created. They told me that I did not need a mental health evaluation. All I had to do was be on testosterone for two years. Removing body parts is a little bit different. It's even more permanent and, well, it's dangerous too. And when people are willing to do dangerous things to themselves, the professionals need to know why that is. As I started healing from my borderline personality disorder, I started realizing that there was nothing wrong with being a woman, that I was not a man, and that I could never be a man. I stopped taking testosterone. After two years of being on testosterone, I still grow facial hair. My voice will never be the same. My features have permanently changed. My body will never be the same. There's something very... It makes me upset because I live a great life and I have my whole life in front of me and I'm excited for life for the first time ever. These people could have felt the same way, but they don't because the doctors ruined that for them. I, I can't. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. It's not these people's fault. I don't care how old they are. Yes, they can consent to a lot of things in life, but when you deal with your mental health and it's so bad that you need to seek help at a clinic with professionals, then it's not actually you making a decision when it comes to your medicine, it's the doctors. I don't care if you're a 28 year old woman, it's not your responsibility to treat your borderline. And it's not your fault that you thought you could treat it with testosterone. My joints started shutting down. Testosterone was killing me. And I decided that I needed to stop. We need to do those mental health evaluations to make sure that people aren't just jumping into something when they have underlying mental health conditions. I almost destroyed my entire body. I almost mutilated myself and did things that I could never come back to because I had borderline personality disorder and they did not require any mental health evaluations or any mental health treatment to transition. They did not check with my doctor. I did not see an endocrinologist. I only went through Planned Parenthood and my insurance covered everything. I feel like it needs to be known how easy accessible it is, how you don't even have to be honest and they'll give you the treatments and the drugs you're seeking, how you can permanently destroy your body because of a mental health condition that they leave unchecked. That should not be allowed. As I've said before on this channel, I experience a lot of side effects due to testosterone, but it doesn't affect how I feel about transitioning overall. I got everything under control and I just have to deal with some stuff that others don't have to. It's fine. But when it comes to detransitioners, they're forced to live with side effects that you cannot avoid dealing with if you're on cross-sex hormones, and that's devastating to me. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want, you can support me with a small donation under Super Thanks. It means the world to me, so thank you, and thank you for supporting me. Click the link down below if you want to become a member of this channel. Remember to follow me on Twitter and on Rumble, under the same name. 
and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.